In this video, I am going to discuss about physiology of micturition. Once urine starts getting accumulated in the bladder, the sense of distension is carried to the spinal cord mainly by parasympathetic and partly by sympathetic sensory nerves. From the spinal cord, the sense of distension travels through posterior columns and it reaches brainstem centers and suprapontine centers. Now the suprapontine center decides whether it is socially acceptable to void or not. If it is socially not acceptable, the suprapontine center continues its facilitatory impulses to the onops nucleus and the onops nucleus in turn gives impulses through pudendal nerve and it continues tonic external urethral sphincter contraction. At the same time, the suprapontine center gives inhibitory impulses to brainstem centers and from the brainstem centers through reticulospinal tract it causes facilitation of the sympathetic and inhibition of the parasympathetic. The sympathetic center in turn causes detrusor muscle relaxation and internal urethral sphincter contraction. Thus the bladder goes in a storage mode. Now if it is socially acceptable to void, the suprapontine center causes facilitation of brainstem centers. Brainstem center in turn causes inhibition of sympathetic and facilitation of parasympathetic center. Now the parasympathetic center causes detrusor muscle contraction and internal urethral sphincter relaxation. At the same time the suprapontine center gives inhibitory impulses to the onops nucleus and the onops nucleus in turn through pudendal nerve causes voluntary external urethral sphincter relaxation and thus the process of voiding occurs.